vegetarian sushi for Mother Day. Before we start, kids, we need to wash our hands with soap and water, please, and then you dry them. We are going to take a piece of bread. I use whole wheat bread that is better for you, but you can use any bread that you are using in the house. And what you are going to do with the bread, you are going to cut, to cut the parts that are uh, the dark parts out. Do not use a sharp knife like I'm doing because uh, it's dangerous. You can use you can ask a grown-up to do it for you. Oh, look at this. It goes it all by itself. Oh, this part we need to. And this part you can eat. So you can, the, the dark crust, you can cut it out and roll it. And we can do something with this and this part. But don't throw it away. You, you, you are going to eat it. We are going to take a roller for dough or a bottle that is clean and neat. If you use the bottle, please ask a grown-up. If you have a roller for dough in the house, please do so. Okay? And we are going to roll the piece of bread very thin, as much as you can. Don't rip it. Don't make holes in it. Just from time to time, touch it and see, oh, this is enough. Wow, perfect. Okay, we put it aside, we take it out from the table. And we are going to make the vegetarian roll with avocado, uh, cucumbers, and carrots. Now, normally you use the, the carrots and the cut, but because for kids, you have shredded carrots, so you can use, let's take out few and see, and it's going to be perfect for the sushi. Look at them, they are long. They are pretty. Now we are going to take the cucumber and peel it. There is a peeler that I think you can use, but still you, you need to ask your parents. We are going to put it here and here. You don't need the lot. Look how easy it is. You peel it and you peel it. And I'm going to peel just a little bit of the cucumber. I'm going to cut the cucumber, cut the edge here with the green, and continue. You can do, do it with the peeler. Now we take all the dirt and I, we need to clean, and I'm going to wash it. What we need now to take an avocado and tr uh, check that it's soft, it's not very soft. We cut in half. And again, you need a sharp knife, so you need to ask an adult to do it for you. And then you twist. And wow, look at this. Perfect. Now what, what we are going to do is we are going to take out, actually we can do it with this knife. Now there are two ways to do it. We can go and cut it strips like this and put it in or I think it's better to spread it like we did with the crunches with with the other sushi and it's fun for you too okay and turn around all over the bread a little more if you like avocado put more if you if it's not your favorite, put some spread. And this is especially for Mother's Day that the kids are doing a special meal for the mother. Now we are going to take and cut strips of the cucumber. Let's do this. It should be thin, but if you are not, if you cannot do it, look at this. And we are going to spread it like this. And be careful, this is really a grown up needs to do. You know what? We can take this and this. And if you like only only the 
the outside part yeah. strips and strips and here is short one and we are done now between them we are going to put the carrots so it's going to have some color such like this if you like more let's put some more so it's going to be looking pretty okay and now we are roll it and you need to roll it really tight and hold the vegetables in and roll it And, okay, squeeze. Now we are going to take the roll and we are going to cut sushi. What do you think? Pretty? Very pretty. I bet you taste it too. Here is the two vegetarian sushi. So we are, what we are going to do, we are going to take and put them in one plate. One cucumber, an avocado, and one with red pepper. And it's very co colorful. Happy Mother's Day!